Thousands of stories have been written down throughout history about these fascinating animals and how they coexisted with humans. The Old Testament gives clear characteristics of how they lived, what they looked like, and how they existed with humans. Are they just fairy tales created by Hollywood imaginations? Or do they have a real foundation in history? The unicorn is a real animal in the Bible. There are nine verses that have the word unicorn in them, with the unicorn's characteristics being clearly defined. There are over 100 movies, television shows, and cartoons that have featured or used unicorns. But the unicorn's identity has been over-glorified as a majestic horse with magical powers, and in some cases, has wings to fly from the earth to other magical kingdoms. Here are six of the nine verses where the unicorn is mentioned in the Bible. In addition to the unicorn's characteristics, many of these verses compare the unicorn to God's power and strength and help describe how nations were formed and brought down. Numbers 23, 22. God brought them out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Since a unicorn is known for its great strength, the Israelites are comparing the great strength of God when he led his people out of Egypt, protecting them from Pharaoh's armies who were about to attack them. Deuteronomy 33:17. His glory is like the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of unicorns. With them he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth, and they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. God's great strength and power will push all the inhabitants out of the Promised Land. Since a unicorn uses its horn to push and subdue its enemy, this is being compared to how God will rid the land the Israelites have been promised. The new nation of Israel is born around 1100 BC. Job 39.9 Will the unicorn be willing to serve thee or abide by the crib? Even though the unicorn was a large and powerful animal like bulls, oxen, horses, and elephants, it remained untrainable, a symbol of unconquerable power. The unicorn was born wild and remained a wild animal. Psalm 29.6 He maketh them also to skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian like a young unicorn. <music> Lebanon's hills were famous for their tall cedar trees, and Syrian is part of a massive mountain range. During some kind of disaster, the cedar trees were uprooted and the hills and mountain ranges bounced up and down like that of young calves skipping, or as stated here, like a young unicorn.
Psalm 92.10 But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of the unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. The ancient people of the era saw the unicorn's horn as a symbol of strength and power. It was quite possibly the tallest horn of the animal kingdom. Here, the unicorn's horn is being compared to a person's authority, wisdom, and stature given by God. Isaiah 34, 7 And the unicorns shall come down with them, the nation of Judah, and the bullocks with the bulls. And their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. All of you! Hear the word of the Lord! Amend your ways and your doings. And I will let you dwell in this place. The people did not listen to Isaiah's warning. God let the Babylonian army get closer. And I will utter my judgments against all the cities of Judah for all their wickedness in forsaking. It takes a lot of power to bring down a unicorn and make it fall or kill it. The prophet Isaiah was prophesizing that even though the nation of Judah was great and powerful, God was about to destroy it because the people stopped listening to him. They still did not believe Isaiah's warning. The Babylonian army invaded Judah. The 1828 Webster's Dictionary defines a unicorn as an animal with one horn, the monoceros. This name is often applied to the rhinoceros. The 2020 Merriam-Webster's Dictionary defines this animal as a mythical, usually white animal, generally depicted with the body and head of a horse with long flowing mane and tail and a single, often spiral horn in the middle of the forehead. I'm not sure what kind of unicorn that is. I definitely have no idea what that is. Now that's more like it. As one can see, the definition has been modified greatly due to the rise of fictional animals in popular culture. Are there any historical sightings of unicorns? To find out, we'll have to go back in time, about 750 years to Asia, to look at a Siberian unicorn. We'll need a time machine to do this. Let's go back to the year 1275 where Marco Polo is on his 24-year tour of Central and Eastern Asia.
is an excerpt from one of Marco Polo's encounters in Sumatra. They have a wild elephant and a plenty of unicorns, which are scarcely smaller than an elephant. They have the hair of a buffalo and feet like an elephant. They have a single large black horn in the middle of their forehead. They are very ugly brutes to look at. In his travels from 1271 to 1295, he mentions seeing oxen and bulls, but does not classify them as unicorns, obviously a different animal. Julius Caesar claimed that these animals could be found in the ancient and vast Hercynian forest of Germany. And some early accounts describe the unicorn as ferocious, swift, and impossible to capture, with a magical horn capable of healing numerous ailments. Tusias of Sindus was a Greek physician and historian who wrote about an incredible animal during one of his travels in the 5th century BC. This animal is exceedingly swift and powerful, so that no creature, neither horse nor any other, can overtake it. There is no other way to capture them in the hunt than this. When they conduct their young to pasture, if they are surrounded by many horsemen, they refuse to flee, thus forsaking their offspring. They fight with thrusts of horn, they kick, bite, and strike with wounding force both horses and hunters. But they perish under the blows of arrows and javelins, for they cannot be taken alive. The flesh of this animal is so bitter that it is not edible. It is hunted for its horn and its ankle bone. This answers why the unicorn became extinct. It was hunted for its horn, solely for medicinal purposes. In today's market, in the 2013 Atlantic Magazine, an article stated that one rhinoceros horn sells for $300,000 in Vietnam because it is believed for some that it cures cancer, which has been on the rise as seen in this 2016 report. Animals with horns and tusks have been hunted this way for thousands of years. In some cases, authorities are now cutting off the horns of rhinoceros in order to protect them from poachers. What are the characteristics of the unicorn? When the animal is young, it skips like other calves. Unicorns have enormous strength. A full-grown adult is almost the size of an elephant. Its body is covered in fur. It cannot be trained. It is perceived as an ugly animal. Its single horn is black and located in the center of its head. Its horn is long and powerful. It cannot fly. It cannot be trapped or caught. Are there any creatures that have a single long horn like a unicorn that exists today? The unicorn fish.
the narwhal. The cassowary. The rhinoceros beetle. The rhinoceros horn lizard. The rhinoceros horn silkworm. The Indian rhinoceros. The Siberian unicorn was hunted to extinction for its prize horn. Evolutionary scientists claim that this creature died out millions of years ago, instead of just hundreds of years. Based on the evidence, what will you decide? to fall.